What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here, and today we're going to be going back to the weapons tier list in Grounded and updating it for the 1.3 update. Now, we've done this in the past with the 1.2 update, and I believe when 1.0 released as well, but we're going back to it now because there were quite a few changes in 1.3 to a lot of the weapons in the game. So here you can see what the tier list looked like for the tier 1 weapons specifically in Grounded. We're going to start with this list, then move on to the tier 2, and then the tier 3. Now, this is where I placed them last time that we did the list. And my question is, has the list changed at all? Now, for me personally, I'm going to move the Lava Blade down to B and move the Peblet Spear up to A. Now, this is because I just really like using spears and um, the Spear and the Sprig are both very good when thrown. The Lava Blade just isn't as good for me. And yes, it does apply a, a poison effect, which is very nice, but I just don't find myself using it that much. I do also really like the Peblet Axe. I might move that up to an A alongside the Spear. Once combined with the chopper mutation, the axe is virtually unstoppable, but I'm actually going to keep it in B because you usually wouldn't have like the chopper mutation by the time you have this axe, to be honest. I'd usually be on to tier 2 tools by the time I get chopper, so we'll keep it in the B tier, but it is a really, really good weapon with the right combination. It's just that because we're early on in the game, you usually don't get that combination. But these two weapons are the best. I usually craft quite a few and just throw them at my enemies, uh, not to mention the spiky sprig obviously has bleed, which makes it even more powerful. I think I'm pretty happy with how this tier 1 weapons list looks. Let's move on to the tier 2 weapons and let's re-rank those next. Next we have the tier 2 weapons, as you can see. They're all in the places I ranked them last time, other than a couple of weapons which are actually off the list, which is the Spider Fang Dagger and the Mosquito Needle. That's because both of these had slight changes in the 1.3 update. Let's first start with the current list that we have. Is there anything I want to move? Now, I really, really like the Black Ant Sword and the Red Ant Club. They're both extremely strong. I really like these two weapons, again, very, very good. Stinger Spear and Insect Axe, both very, very strong. They're not quite S tier, I don't think, but they are very good weapons. Bone Dagger is mid, Bone Trident, not good, and these two deserve to both be in D tier because they're terrible weapons. Previously, I had the Spider Fang Dagger in S tier. I honestly couldn't tell you why. It's absolutely not an S tier weapon. I'm just going to put it in B tier alongside the Bone Dagger. I'll be completely honest, it's basically the same weapon, except the Bone Dagger does stun, and the spider dagger does poison. I would argue the spider dagger is better slightly, but not enough to put it up to an A tier. I'd much rather have either of these two weapons than the spider fang dagger. It's just not great, to be honest. The change with it in 1.3 is that it now applies uh, poison underwater, whereas it didn't before. But it's such a small change, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. So for me, it stays in the B tier. Then we have the mosquito needle. Now, previously, I had this weapon in C tier. It has been changed. It can actually be used underwater as a weapon now. For those who didn't know, that was a change in 1.3. And it maintains its C tier status. I know some people say, it gives lifesteal. It's such a good... Shush, man. It does barely any damage. And for that reason, it goes in C tier. I don't care that it heals me. I want a weapon that's going to kill my enemy quickly. The Mosquito Needle doesn't do that. Doesn't matter how you upgrade it. It never does that. The Stinger Spear is always going to be far superior in damage. So for that reason, it goes in C tier. It also has pretty horrible durability as well. And you can't really throw it like you can with the Stinger Spear. It doesn't do as much thrown damage. It's just a C tier weapon. It's really not that good. It's overrated. Um, if you prefer this to anything up here, you just need to learn to parry, um, to be completely honest. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the tier 2 weapons. Let's move into the tier 3 weapons, the final stage of weapon in Grounded. Right, we have the list for the tier 3 weapons. As you can see, lots of them have been removed, and that's because a lot of stuff got changed. Now, some stuff which I could have removed even more weapons for is that club speed was increased by 15% in the newest update, but I'm not going to update the weapons for that. And they added new animations for two-handed swords and axes, which increase their speed by 20%, which means the Scythe of Blossoms, for example, is faster, the Sour Battle Axe is faster, the Coltana is faster. Those kind of weapons are slightly faster than they were before. So let's start off as usual with the actual main list itself. I think I'm going to keep both of these two in S tier. I think the Tama Axe is really, really strong. I don't know if I'd quite move it up to S tier, though. I think the Scythe of Blossoms is really good. I'm going to move that up. I'm actually going to move the Fire Ant Club down. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with where this is at. I'll maybe move the Tick Sword up to B, because if you are going to use a lifesteal weapon, it is one of the best. Let's start with the Tiger Mosquito Rapier. It's staying in C tier, where I had it before. The only change to this is it can now be used underwater, but again, don't care. It's bad. 
um, I would rather not use it. I will say the Tikamakawaka Wiwa is slightly more powerful, so I am going to move that up to B because of that. Again, the Fire Ant Club, not that good. Um, just bother, don't bother crafting it. Craft the Club of the Mother Demon. And when it comes to the Antlion Sword, it's not that bad. It's bordering on a B tier for me because it is a decent weapon, I'll be honest. Um, it's just a bit of a pain to craft with all the Antlion pincers. I'd have to spend like seven weeks in the sandbox to get that many pincers. Um, so yeah, we have the Prod Smacker next, which was in B tier before, and the change in the newest update is its damage got increased. I'm going to keep it in B tier. This weapon is really, really good, but there's a huge problem. Well, two huge problems, actually. Number one, the only way to activate its special ability is with charged attacks, and I very rarely use charged attacks because they can be cancelled so easily just by getting hit by an enemy. Number two... Um, despite the damage increase on the weapon, it can't go down any elemental paths, meaning it is stuck down the mighty path, which obviously got nerfed in the newest update. So despite the fact it got a damage increase, the change to the mighty path probably actually nerfed the damage overall, uh, meaning it's probably worse than it actually was before. It's going to go in B tier. It's really difficult to get. And it's just not, like, as powerful as some of these weapons up here. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I've liked it on and off, but it's not as good as it once was. Next, we have the Pinch Whacker, which was in A tier. The change to this was that instead of it now being a luck-based proc, uh, they changed it so that it procs on the third hit of every combo. It's going to stay in A tier. I think the change makes it a slightly better weapon, but it's not good enough to be S tier. Uh, this is one of those tier 3 weapons that isn't good in the late game, but it is good in that sort of mid game when, you're ha when you usually would have tier 2 weapons. It's like a very, very strong early tier 3 weapon. Uh, but once you get into the late game, it's not good, and I wouldn't recommend using it at all. But for that mid to early late game, I would really, really recommend this. It's a really strong weapon. Next, we have the Widow Dagger, which I had in A tier. I'm going to move it down to B tier. The change was that it can now apply poison underwater. Um, it can also now apply venom instead of poison. But I just don't think it's as good as I put it last time. Last time I put it in A. I just think there's too many enemies now that are resistant to either slashing damage or or resistant to poison and venom and that makes it really really difficult to use this weapon um because you're really reliant on the stacking effects of all of your like bleed poison venom like all that sort of stuff you're relying on and i just don't think it's as good as um it once was because a lot of enemies are now a lot more resistant to poisons and stuff than they used to be so for that reason it's going to go in b tier i would take any of these weapons here maybe apart from the pinch whacker purely because of like when you get it in the game type b also the black widow in my opinion is much harder to kill than it used to be in previous updates meaning this weapon should be much more valuable and i don't see as much value in it because the black widow now is insanely hard to kill unless you have the right build and you know what you're doing the Rusty Spear now, uh, they doubled the damage it does underwater when attacking enemies uh, in one of the recent updates. And it also applies Infection underwater now. Previously, I had this in A tier. I'm going to move it up to S tier. Uh, in terms of an underwater weapon, this thing can one-shot any underwater enemy. If you put it down Sour level 9, uh, it'll one-shot anything when thrown, which makes it amazing. The Javelin Near Perk obviously boosts that thrown damage massively, um, I think by about 20%. And this thing just is it's just a tank. Like, if you have a really good throwing technique, this weapon is amazing. It can take out a lot of really difficult enemies, and I really like it. The infection effect is also very, very good, uh, especially if you stack it with the Giddy Goop and the Termite Armor. I really like this weapon. Um, yeah, it's probably not the same level of the Tonal Scimitar, but I would say it is an S-tier weapon, which sounds weird. But the Tonal Scimitar for me is, like, top of this category. It's like the number one of the number ones. Um, these two are very, very strong. The club is more for people who are like very confident in their parrying. This weapon you could get away with, but you need to learn how to pick up and throw weapons in a good rhythm to be able to use this. Because it's not as good when you're actually hitting with it naturally, to be honest. And then we have the four horsemen of the apocalypse remaining. The four weapons which all got massive changes in 1.3. Let's start with the mint mace. When you get this to level 6 or above, it now has an AOE mint attack. Previously, this was in S tier. Now it's still in S tier. It's even further up S tier than it was before. Uh, these tiers aren't ordered for the record, but if they, if they were, I think the mint mace is the number one. It's definitely the number one fresh weapon, and it's one of the number one weapons in the game right now. The thing hits like a truck. If you haven't used it when you're doing the super mixers in the upper yard... Um, particularly the two that have the roly-polies and the fire ants because they're all weak to fresh get this thing with the giddy goop 
and the termite armor and oh my god it will be the easiest time you've ever had in your life beating those super mixers genuinely it is insane how easy it makes them it's one of the best weapons in the game it's definitely the best fresh weapon in the game and it's definitely an s tier weapon Next we have the Salt Morning Star. Previously I had this in A tier. Once you get this past level 6 now, it gives a bleed effect on the third hit of a combo. Um, I'm going to keep it in A tier. I do think this effect has made it more powerful than it was previously. I don't think it's enough to take it up to the S tier though, especially with the shield nerfs that make it so that all one-handed weapons deal 20% less damage if you're using a shield. Now obviously you could not use a shield with it the main benefit of using this is the fact that you can use a shield with it um, i'm going to say it is an a tier weapon it's very very strong the bleed effect is very very good i really like it i would say the downside again is that shield nerf and that it just quite doesn't quite do the damage for me like i would take a salty club of the mother demon over the salt morning star especially once i have that apex predator mutation i think this thing is more powerful uh, obviously the situation is very dependent like if i'm fighting wasps or the mantis or the wasp queen i personally prefer the morning star because i can use the shield to still block while not being able to parry and using a barbarian to go absolutely crazy on the enemies next i'm going to go for the coltana which previously i had in b tier the change to this is that on the third attack of a combo it's going to increase your parry window then, while this parry window is increased, if you are able to parry an attack, you get a massive damage increase on the next attack you do on the enemy. Um, is this buff really good? Yes. Does it put it into the A tier? I think it does. I think this weapon has achieved A tier status for me now. It's really good. It is. Do I use it as my main spicy weapon? No, I'd be lying if I said I did. I use the Termite Axe typically as my main spicy weapon, but the Coltana is very good, and I can see valid, valid reasons for using it. Finally, the Sour Battle Axe, it's S tier. The changes made to this weapon make it one of the best weapons in the game. When you deal a three-hit combo, it increases the attack speed massively, and um, it absolutely obliterates anything in the game now. It's finally got the credit it deserves as one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, it's finally been buffed enough to get that, especially with the chopper mutation. Absolutely insane. The best weapon in the game probably right now. Um, and for that reason, it's in S tier. That's going to call it for the updated tier lists. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. And I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.